What's up, everybody? This is Vincent Tung, the Wandering Warrior. Tung Huan Jie, Liu Lang Yong Shi. In search of martial arts from my own heritage and new elements to improve my own fight game, I wander into Taipei. And on this trip, I would encounter two boxing styles: Taizu Chen and Shi He Chen. Taizu boxing and feeding crane boxing. Hi guys, so today I'm here with Vince. He's the guy from the YouTube channel and I check out the Wandering Warrior. And very quickly, I come from modern wushu. I did it for 50 years. I was a former athlete for, the, uh, for France. And um, afterward, when I broke my manuscripts, came to Taiwan and I started to focus more on traditional styles. And now with Master of World Joy, I train. Uh, Taiwanese Honga and Tai Du Quan, which is part of our men's Tai uh, Tai Jia Quan uh, or Choi Ga in Cantonese, even though they are different styles. So, yeah, Vince is more in the northern style practitioners yeah. and more into wrestling, and uh, I'm more a southern style guy. Uh, so, that will be very interesting to share what we have. Uh, so, I will be showing him some Tai Du. And he will be sharing some of his uh, Shui Jiao and Kui Mantis background. Some of them are Taizu trained, which is different variants yeah. of it, right? And so, this is my part of my heritage, and it's not something I got exposed to when I was younger. And so, I, one, I was very interested for that reason. Either his flesh, his skin, or his clothes, if he's 
got lots of causes. If you're in the winter, even in the southern provinces, uh, you can get all the snow. So we grab and then switch to other. I'll just pierce with the other hand. I'll just get in and pierce again. That's stuff we do. So maybe you can see how it applies for wrestling and stuff like this. Yeah. So for example, even if this wasn't to be a strike, this, if this was a belt or the top of a, of a pants, right? Does it come in? He's my belt grab, right? And as you guys know, right from here, uh, if his hand comes over to grab me, yeah. There's, there's my cow, uh, as we say in uh, Mandarin, or kasa, as we say in Mongolian, knocking over the knee. And that's super common across most Chinese martial arts. Yeah, over the knee throws, right? Yeah. Uh, so that, that's that's just uh, that's just one example, right? And if I just if I just let this. <laughs> I, I, can, I can create I can create a second open here. Of course this like you can pretty much see that, that open. After some good beers and better friends, the next day I went to visit a feeding crane group, The feeding is the hunting or snapping up, and this kind of characterizes this fast, speedy crane boxing style. Unfortunately, I forgot to ask them if I could video record, so I think I'll share my experiences with you as I wander Taipei. Now, unlike the Taizu Chun that I was being taught by Jislin uh, the day before, which is part of their Cai Jia Chun, uh, and is supposedly hailing from Chunzhou in Fujian, the feeding crane group, their martial art derives from Fuzhou, another region of Fujian province, Hokkien. I met with Sifu Liu Hanhong. Guided by their wise, affable, and experienced Sifu, these students were quite friendly and dedicated, and were clearly able to use this whipping power that they, that they train. In fact, they train power optimization first and foremost, rather than gross motor skills, athletic movement, and so on. Feeding crane to me seems streamlined and stripped down, a lot of the weaponry and other practices, weightlifting removed, and focusing primarily on the power generation, the handwork in different directions for that power, and then various forms of push hands and competitive drilling, almost sparring to get those skills in. This is primarily a self-defense art. As such, it focuses more on the tactics of the opening moves, tu chun, just as you would with uh, bato jutsu or ia jutsu versus Kenjutsu, the drawing and killing in the very beginning versus a prolonged fencing uh, or dueling scenario. I had a great time with both of these pugilistic systems and the way that they tackle power generation and optimization from the start and provide tactical and technical methodologies for using it. I'm definitely going to incorporate something like this into my game as I reconfigure and improve my own style. And of course, thank you all for following me on my journey. I salute yours. Peace.